Hi guys, what's up? I'm Arpita Karwa and I just finished watching a very very hilarious movie that is Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. If you're wondering whether I was watching Shakespeare's Hamlet, no, I was not watching Hamlet. I was watching a movie which is based on a play written by Tom Stupard. And in this video lecture, I'm going to talk about many such plays written by Tom Stupard, who is one of the most important playwright that you must study if you are preparing for UGC Net English Literature. Before we look at the works written by Tom Stupard, I would like to bring to your notice one fun fact. Tom Stupard was educated in Darjeeling in India. So if anybody of you have any connection with Darjeeling, I'm pretty sure that you're not going to forget this guy ever after. Apart from it, he also wrote the screenplay of a very, very famous movie which is called Shakespeare in Love. And this movie is a must watch for all the literature aspirants and especially those who love Shakespeare because it presents the life of Shakespeare in such a beautiful way that you cannot help watching that movie uh, you know again and again this is a problem that i face whenever i watch shakespeare in love i cannot put my headphones down i cannot turn off the screen of my computer i am glued to the screen it is such a fantastic movie so coming back to tom stupert he has also written a film adaptation of leo tolstoy's anna karenina if you have not heard of Anna Karenina, I'm pretty sure that you must have heard this beautiful quotation that if you look for perfection, you will never be content. And this particular quote is from the book Anna Karenina written by Leo Tolstoy and Tom Stupert has written a film adaptation of this book. So this was a short introduction to the life of Tom Stupert. Now let's jump into his famous work Rosenkerns and Gildestern are dead. Tom Stupert was writing a play called Rosenkerns and Gildestern Meet Lear. This was a one act play which Tom Stupert was writing and gradually he changed the title and he changed the entire setting of the play and finally the output, the final product was Rosenkerns and Gildestern are dead. And this is first major play written by Tom Stupert. As you can see from the title, the title has been taken from Hamlet where Horatio towards the end of the play delivers a line from which the title has been taken. Apart from it, this play basically talks about the offstage life of the two minor characters of Hamlet, or the two childhood friends of Hamlet, Rosenkerns and Gildestern. And we find that in this play, these guys, both of them are executed without even understanding the reason why they are executed. If you look at the play, you look uh, at the summary of the play, you'll see that it has similarities to Samuel Beckett's Waiting for Godot. So in Waiting for Godot, you will find that the two characters, they are playing games in order to pass their time. Similarly, in this play, Rosenkerns and Gildestern, both of them keep on flipping coins in order to pass their time. Uh, and they are waiting for the main characters to come up and give a purpose to their life. So that is the major plot of this play, Rosenkerns and Gildestern are dead. The next work that we are going to talk about is Travis Tees. It is a play written by Tom Stupert and it was recently asked in January 2017 net exam. But what is important about this play is that it talks about a lot of writers and a lot of plays so it has literary association and references of various literary works and that is the reason why this play becomes important from the point of view of net so we find that the play is set in zurich switzerland during the world war first time and the main protagonist is henry carr who meets three main literary figures of this age in Zurich and he's talking about the experience that he had with all these people. Who are these three literary figures? First one is James Joyce, the writer of Ulysses. The second person is Lenin who started the movement of Dadaism. And the third person is Tristran Zara who is a main political leader of Russian Revolution. So you find that all these three people coming from different branches of knowledge come together in this play and Henry Carr tries to talk about his experiences with all these writers. 
Apart from it, if you are an Oscar Wilde fan, then there's a surprise for you in this play because we find a lot of reference of Oscar Wilde's play, Importance of Being Earnest. Henry Carr was a person who acted in Oscar Wilde's play, Importance of Being Earnest, and he recalls his experience as an actor throughout the play. And he also tells us that when he was acting and playing the role of Elginon at that time, James Joyce was the business manager. So you can see James Joyce in a completely different light. And towards the end of the play, we find that Henry Carr and James Joyce have a fight and finally uh, they start a legal battle which has been taken to the court. So if you look at this play, it is a very, very interesting play having a lot of literary references and thus it becomes important from that point of view. Travis Trees is important, but what is more interesting is Tom Stupert's Arcadia. If you're wondering Arcadia sounds quite familiar, don't worry, I'm pretty sure that you must have heard Philip Sidney's Arcadia and you're confusing that work with the work of Tom Stupert. So let me tell you that Philip Sidney wrote a long prose work called Arcadia dedicated to Countess of Pembroke, whereas Tom Stupert wrote Arcadia, which is a play. And this play has got a very very interesting character whose name is Thomasina. Thomasina is a very intelligent girl who is researching in mathematics and her tutor's friend is Lord Byron, the famous romantic poet. So you find that another literary reference is there in Tom Stupert's play. He loved talking about writers and life of writers. So even in Arcadia, he talks about life of Byron and also he's talking about Byron's daughter's life. If you look at the character Thomasina, you'll see that her character is based on Byron's daughter. So Byron's real life daughter inspired Tom Stupert to write Arcadia and thus this literary work is also important from net point of view. There are a lot of other writers, a lot of other works that need your attention. You can go to my website arpitakarva.com. There's a section called online course content in which you'll see a list of writers which you should study if you are preparing for UGC Net English. So go check that list. If you like that list, you can even join my online course. The details of my online course is available on my website. Before you leave this video, I would like to make a short request that please go and visit social media pages. I'm running a GoNet quiz and several other exciting puzzles and quizzes are waiting for you on my social media pages and these puzzles, quizzes, contests are specifically for UGC NET English Literature aspirants. So if you too are preparing for UGC NET, then it's time to add some fun in your studies. You can check my social media pages and follow them so that you are notified every time I post a quiz. Apart from that, if you have not yet subscribed to my video, then it's the time to do that go press the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon so that you are notified every time I post a video. I post videos every Saturday and every Sunday specifically for UGC Net aspirants. I've also started a new video series on paper one because a lot of students were asking about how they should prepare for paper one and I thought of giving them some idea so that they can channelize their preparation so it's right time to subscribe to my channel with that note i take your leave happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com